I remember walking into the high school for the first time and being so scared. I remember when the volleyball team won league for the first time since 2008. I remember playing table tennis in Mr. Ashley's class. I remember when they beat Clinton Massey. That was the loudest the war zone has ever been. I remember being nervous before every marching band performance and then feeling great about how it went when it was over. I remember when my friends and I stayed up all night after prom last year. I remember when we would have our warrior games and afterwards we'd pie the teachers in the face. I remember when I first walked in the first day of freshman year. I never knew how much I would love high school. I remember when, during pep rallies, everyone would scream, go fight win. I remember when the senior class won the cheese coney contest. I remember when I played my last soccer game. I remember walking through the halls with all my friends and not having to worry about tomorrow. I remember when I asked a teacher what the 2020 in my email meant and they said the year you graduate. And I said, wow, that's forever. And here I am. Good evening. My name is Stephanie Walker and I am very proud to be the principal of Goshen High School. At this time, senior Christopher Munafell will give tonight's invocation. CJ plans on attending Ohio University next fall studying entrepreneurism. CJ is the son of Christy Brown and Chris Munifo. Please feel free to join me in a moment of prayer. Dear Lord, we come together today to honor the class of 2020. Today we celebrate our passage and completion of a hard fought 12 years. We want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to gather even under unusual circumstances with our class family, friends, and amazing teachers and faculty one last time under the guidance of Goshen High School. Many of us feared that we would not get to celebrate this milestone and properly close this chapter of our lives. Although not traditional, we give the glory to you that we are still able to have our moment of closure. We would like to thank you for the wonderful staff members who you have placed in each of our lives who gave their time and resources to get us here today. We would also like to thank you for providing for us our amazing caretakers our parents and grandparents, and for giving them the strength to stand by us throughout our academic careers. Let's not forget the people who have enriched our lives in so many ways who are unable to be here today, like board member Sue Steele and our friend Preston Webb. We know that from here, many of us will part ways, some of us will head into the workforce, some of us will begin new academic journeys in college, and some of us will move on to protect and serve our country. With the closing of this chapter, we know that there are many obstacles and challenges that lie ahead, but we ask that you bless us in our future endeavors and give us the strength to attack whatever comes our way with determination and a clear focus on our purpose to serve others. We know that with your love and guidance, we are bound to accomplish great success in our upcoming years. Amen. To the Board of Education, distinguished guests, family and friends, and to the 218 members of the Goshen High School Class of 2020, Welcome to the 127th graduation ceremony. Today is a celebration of excellence for each graduate as this day represents 13 years of hard work. Many of you, parents, grandparents, family and friends, this day also represents your endless worries, your prayers and dreams for your family. Graduation from high school is achieved through effort and dedication. Our Goshen students take academic success to unprecedented heights as the class of 2020 has been offered over $3 million in scholarships. Success at graduation is truly a group effort. On behalf of the class of 2020, we would like to recognize the staff members and administration of Mark Cook, Spalding Elementary, and Goshen Middle School. Thank you for growing our senior students. Our Goshen High School staff members share a very special bond with our students. I see that every day in classrooms and in hallways. They are mentors, provide guidance, a compassionate ear, and at times, a tad bit of hard love. I would like to recognize the members of the Goshen High School academic community who have contributed to our seniors' achievements. Thank you for all that you have done to shape our seniors and prepare them for the next steps of their journey. I now would like to introduce the distinguished guests who are participating in today's ceremony who have made an impact on this graduating class. 
Thank you all for the support that you have given to the class of 2020. Mr. John Gray, board president. Mr. John Benteen, board vice president. Mrs. Julie Casey, Mrs. Deborah Gray, and Mr. Bill Herrera, board members. Additionally, our Goshen Local School District Office Administration, Mr. Daryl Edwards, Superintendent. Mr. Brian Bailey, Assistant Superintendent. Mrs. Teresa Scherzinger, Curriculum Director. Mr. Todd Schinkel, Treasurer. Mrs. Nancy Spears, Director of Special Education. Mr. Mark Slagle, Director of Technology. And Goshen High School's Ms. Marilyn Meyer, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Carrie Mance, Guidance Counselor. Mrs. Kelly Royal, Guidance Counselor. Each year, we have a select number of young men and women commit themselves to serving our great nation in one of the branches of the United States military. Let's honor all members of the class of 2020 who, as of today, plans to enter the armed forces upon graduation. In addition, we would like to recognize those watching from home who are currently serving or who have served in the military. Thank you for your service. Being a parent is one of the hardest jobs that there is. If you are a parent or guardian of a senior, know that you are being recognized at this time for your unwavering support and dedication. At this time, we celebrate you. As you know, consistency and reliability are two qualities that employers and colleges value. Three Goshen High School students have demonstrated their dedication and have proven themselves to be accountable and responsible through their high school careers. I would like to recognize Ethan Belknap, Benjamin Rose, and Casey Meyer for having perfect attendance during their high school experience. Thank you all for being here every minute of every day. At this time, I present and recognize the class of 2020 valedictorian, Brecken Wells. She is the daughter of Shannon and Roy Wells. Brecken will be attending Miami University and pursuing a degree in chemical engineering. Brecken will now present her valedictorian address to the class of 2020. Good evening, administrators, faculty, staff, family, friends, and of course, the graduating class of 2020. We did it, y'all. But it has been a weird year, has it not? That's coming from the class that has lived through silly bands, fidget spinners, widespread consumption of Tide Pods, and even a contentious worldwide debate over the color of a dress. But unfortunately, we have also lived through tragedy. The world is a very different place than it was 18 years ago when we crawled onto the scene. In fact, we are living in a very different world than we were four years ago when we toured Goshen High School. I would even bet that next year, as we begin our adult lives, that our understanding of the world will have shifted yet again. But I am not worried. Goshen Local Schools, particularly the past three months, have prepared us to adapt to an evolving environment. Bearing the ever-changing nature of life and mind, I think I speak for everyone when I say that our high school experience did not end as we expected. We had no triumphant last day filled with smiles and wiping away tears. The final moments of high school for us are not like what we had seen in movies or heard in stories but I believe we've written our own story. The past few months have taught us all about qualities that our generation is often thought to simply not possess. Patience, altruism, hope, hope. What a powerful feeling. I have to be honest with y'all though, it was not easy to remain hopeful as I watched what was supposed to be a time of celebration and closure collapse before my eyes. But that's the thing about hope. It's not always easy. And sometimes it needs a little bit of encouragement. During those hard weeks, I would have done anything for one more lesson, one more conversation with Mrs. Gadio, one more piece of wisdom from Mr. Easley. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. But with the resilience of our teachers, administrators, parents, and fellow students, we all made the best of truly hard times. With teacher parades, senior adoptions, even Google meetings, we appreciate them all. Thank you for encouraging our hope. Let us please remember that it was not luck that got us through these uncertain times. It was the fact that we, as humans who care about other humans, came together to comfort one another. So please, forget about the panic, forget about the fear. Remember the compassion, remember the love. Speaking of love, let's move on to the more cheerful portion of the programming, shall we? 
Some thank yous are in order for our brilliant teachers who deserve recognition for keeping their cool as we move through admittedly annoying fads such as kendamas and various social media challenges. Despite the endless distractions, the educators of Goshen local schools have instilled values of kindness and hard work in their students, all while ensuring we pass calculus. To all of our wonderful teachers throughout the years, thank you. I want to thank a moment to thank my parents, Roy and Shannon, for giving me the support I was too stubborn to admit that I needed. I surely would not be here today if it were not for their constant encouragement, understanding, and unconditional love. I'd also like to thank my brothers, Alex and Kellen, and of course, I would be remiss if I did not recognize our amazing grandparents, without whom our lives would be in a state of chaos. Thank you. All right, class of 2020, it has been a wild ride. Our accomplishments and the memories we've made will stay with us forever. Ben Bruce's National Merit Scholarship, football games, performances, talent shows, laughs on the golf course, Blake Keekler's prestigious Horatio Alvaro Award, shenanigans at lunch, all of this, us, together, I will cherish for the rest of my life. So to my classmates, thank you. Even though it was cut short, I will look back on my time at Goshen High School with affection. Folks, it's over. It may seem like a conclusion, but that could not be further from the truth. We will never again be as young as we are right now. I implore you, take advantage of our youth. Travel, learn, make a difference, make mistakes, make friends, make those friends laugh. I think the best way to say what I want to say to y'all is to share a few words that have already been said. In his lovely book of poetry, Everything on It, Shel Silverstein wrote, there are no happy endings. Endings are the saddest part. So give me a happy middle and a very happy start. So thank you, Goshen High School and the class of 2020 for giving me the happiest start I could ever ask for. I am very proud to present Goshen High School's salutatorian, Blake Keekler. He is the grandson of Lori Curtis. Blake will be attending Miami University and pursuing a degree in computer science. Blake will now present his salutatorian address to the class of 2020. Hello classmates, parents, teachers, school staff, and everyone else watching. If you don't know me, my name is Blake Keekler, and I've been given an extraordinary opportunity to be part of this video and hopefully leave a lasting impact on everyone. This entire graduation video not only represents the distinctive accomplishments of the class of 2020, but also demonstrates how the class of 2020 and people throughout the country have overcome these unprecedented and wide-ranging obstacles in recent times. I want to start off by saying, well, wow. I never knew life could get to such an abnormal state, even after experiencing many, many different crazy moments throughout my life. Life is definitely a roller coaster, only 10 times more extreme and something I definitely don't want to write for sometimes. However, throughout life, there have been many different experiences that are pieces of who I am today. Having non-traditional living situations and a regular upbringing in life, there are definitely some differences I have in comparison to others. Although, I know everybody listening has a fair share of experiences in life. There are so many different faces watching this in the room or with their family, so many different backgrounds, beliefs, and qualities that there's no way I'd be able to encapsulate them all. Even just in high school, I've met people way more intelligent than I am, including more than just Brecken. I've met people with different interests and characteristics. I've even met people who are either eerily similar or exactly opposite of me. Some of the most unique characters I think back to are my teachers. The teachers within the high school are some you may assume that are pretty similar, but are actually some of the most unique and interesting people in their own separate way. Mr. Easley, being secluded in his little section of the high school, is one of the most fascinating and wise people I've met. Ms. Keish, always being super energetic, even in the mornings, and always having a smile. I love the teachers and the different personalities I got to see throughout high school every day, something I wouldn't want any other way. My peers have also been a part of the most amazing and exhilarating moments in my life. Working a part-time job while in high school alongside some of my closest friends, and some of the most goofiest yet hilarious people I know have left me with lasting memories for years to come. Being a part of multiple different sports, including the football team and we beat Clinton Massey, has not only allowed me to learn personal qualities, but grow and experience bonds between many different people. I've created relationships with so many different types of people, all with unique stories behind them. I've grown relationships with people who may not seem nothing like me in ways, even my own girlfriend, but are still some of the people I connect with the most. And with all these different people throughout my life and unique experiences I've had, this is only just my story. All the distinct personalities and beliefs, totally different styles and qualities, it's what makes us so special and so memorable. The reason I'm mentioning how unique people are and the distinct qualities they hold is because the differences are what made high school such a distinct part of everyone, 
and those differences is what's going to make life such an exciting adventure. I want the class of 2020 to realize that they're different. I want you to know you have different beliefs, different morals, different characteristics, and you should embrace them. Moving from high school, whether to going to college, technical school, workforce, or some other pathway, graduation is only the first step of many. Obviously, this first step may not be completely normal for us, but that's just it. Embracing the differences in life is how we grow. No matter who you are now, or who you'll be in five, 10, 20 years from now, embrace it. Be who you want to be and pursue who you are to its entirety. I want to end off by saying thank you. Thank you to the amazing teachers and staff that have helped us students grow throughout high school and find a pathway in life. Thank you to my friends and peers throughout high school, whether we're so close or may have drifted apart, thank you for your lasting impact on my life. And to my grandma, to which a thank you isn't nearly enough to commemorate everything you've done for me throughout my life, keeping me in check, but always being my number one supporter. Without you, I certainly wouldn't be in the spot I am today. Class of 2020, it's been rough. I wish everyone a prosperous future and always remember, be different, be proud, and be you. Thank you. I would like to welcome board president, John Gray, to the podium at this time to address the class of 2020. Thank you, Mrs. Walker. On behalf of Goshen Board of Education, I would like to congratulate the members of the class of 2020 for achieving this milestone in your life. Graduating from high school, is a closing of one chapter of your life and the beginning of another chapter. You will have many memories that you will take with you from school years here at Goshen, and we hope that those fond memories are the ones that have prepared you for the next chapter in your life as you move on to the next chapter. I would like to share with you a quote from a gentleman named Charles Swindoll. The longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude to me is more important than the facts. It's more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than successes, and than what other people think, say, or do. It's more important than appearance, giftedness, or skill. It will make or break a company, a church, a home. The remarkable thing is we have a choice every day regarding the attitude that we embrace for that day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact that people will act in a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play on one string we have, and that is our attitude. I am convinced that life is 10% of what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. And so it is with you. We are all in charge of our attitudes. To the class of 2020, you have experienced a very different ending to your high school years than those that went before you. But remember, it's not what happens to you in life, but how you respond to it that matters. A virus may have taken away a few months of memories, but seize the day when you leave these doors and embrace the next chapter in your life with enthusiasm and remember to value the friendships and what you have learned here makes a difference in this world. You are prepared, you have received a great education in math, English, language arts, science, and social studies. You also have learned lifelong lessons in the value of hard work, teamwork, and leadership. Take a great attitude in everything you approach in your upcoming years. You will be a success. Take these with you as you leave our doors. We are proud of you and we know you're going to do great things. Once a warrior, always a warrior. For all students throughout time, senior year is full of last. The last football game, the last homecoming, and the last walk through the crowded halls. Typically, as the days count down, excitement builds for each of those milestone events. For your class, all of that was interrupted by an order given by the governor that required us to end the school year by social distancing through remote learning. The realization eventually hit us all. We were not returning to Goshen High School for the remainder of your senior year. Sadly, we all missed out on the opportunity to hug, cry, and say our final goodbyes. However, just because something has ended, and in your case, sooner than expected, doesn't mean that it cannot live on in other ways. We should change our thinking from last to lasting. During your time at Goshen High School, you have created lasting memories, made lasting friendships, 
and gained a lasting love for learning. Yes, in life, you will face adversity. Do not be discouraged or defeated. You possess unlimited potential to choose the path in the person you wish to be. Interestingly, adversity found my grandfather when he was in high school as well, and like you, he too suffered losses of a typical high school experience. This was quite some time ago in the midst of World War II. However, the parallels to today's events seem incredibly relevant. In the 1940s, many young men and women across the nation joined the military in order to make a difference. Soon enough, my teenage grandfather lied about his age and became a member of the United States Navy. He dropped out of school because of his conviction that he needed to do his part as an American to protect our great nation. History has come to reference these Americans as the greatest generation. They eventually returned home, had families, and seized the day establishing the strongest economic and political powerhouse country in the world. In my grandpa's case, well after I was born, he worked to get his GED in order to enroll in college and eventually obtain his associate's degree. It was a new beginning and an opportunity for that generation to help our country prosper. You too have made sacrifices this school year, no doubt. Without being physically present at GHS, it could have been easy to fall behind and simply give up. But not you, not my warriors. You were resilient. You have had or will have experiences, both good and bad, which will shape the direction of your life, much like my grandpa Tom. I challenge you to take those experiences and use them to your advantage. Remember, each day is a new beginning. It is never too late to alter your path in life or to grow as an individual. It is never too late to believe in yourself. Be full of grit, reflective, optimistic. Strive to be a fearless leader and always try to make a difference in the lives of others. I can promise you that there are no greater rewards in life. I challenge all of you to leave a lasting impression on the world. I will close this evening with this for the very last time as a Goshen High School student. It's a great day to be a Goshen warrior and make sure to take care of each other. Thank you. Mr. Edwards and the members of the Board of Education, as principal of Goshen High School, I hereby certify that each graduate has met all requirements of the State of Ohio and the Goshen Board of Education, and as such, are eligible to receive their diplomas. Members of the Goshen High School Class of 2020, Congratulations and best wishes as you start the next chapter of your life. At this time, we will begin to recognize the students of the class of 2020. Jackson Dillinger Abshire. Catherine Marie Alexander. Chance Christopher Allen. Kaya Faith Alloway. Carl James Anderson. Hannah K. Anderson. Zoe Marie Armacost. Madison Taylor Arnett. John Dylan Ashcraft. Joseph Shiloh Ashley. Andrew Jacob Baird. Blaine 
Austin Lewis Baker. Kevin Lee Barrett Jr. Desiree Rose Basham. Frank Eugene Beatty III. Ethan Christopher Belknap. Jaden Nicole Bills. Paige Joanne Blakenship. Christopher Robert Towel Bradley. Waylon Michael Bradley. Nicholas Shane Branham. Benjamin David Bros. Ace Dalton Brown. Gunner Arthur Bryant. Connor Matthew Buckseth. Jackson Patrick Budeye. Charles David Bundy. Christopher Michael Burns. Mackenzie Joe Burns. Devin Joseph Kane Cadell. Sakari Ayana Elizabeth Caldwell. Dylan Scott Campbell. Jessica Ann Carfrey. Caitlin Elizabeth Carrier. Doris Lillian Cash. Aiden Wayne Castellon. Jonathan Edward Lee Chandler. Robin Lee Clark. Savannah Abriana Marie Clark. Carly Ray Combs. Dwayne Lewis Conover Jr. Phoebe Michelle Cook. Phoenix Adair Cordell. Alicia Marie Crafton. Nicole Elizabeth Crafton. Carolyn Ray Craig. Curtis Ray Craig. Madison Grace Curie.
Bailey James Earl Davenport Michael Anthony Deaton Logan Anthony Decker Alyssa Rain Denham Nathan Michael Denowden Layla Rain Dixon Samantha Nicole Dunaway Joshua William Dunn Dylan Thomas Duttlinger Rebecca Lynn Ellis Cole Jackson Faulkner Shane Kelly Foster Paisley Wavelin Fry Abigail Marie Grady Ashley Miracle Grant Alexis Nicole Gutman Justin Tyler Lee Gutman Jenna Lynn Hall Michael Joseph Hardiman Caitlin Marie Ann Harris Justice Marie Harrison Madison May Hatfield Rachel Miranda Hayes Madigan Cleo Hayslip Bo Hunter Hazenfield Cody James Henson Joshua David Heiss Stephen Wayne Hill Thomas Harold Hill Blake Edward Hofker Connor Elliot Holmes Xavier Johnny Holt Morgan Elizabeth Hoare Malin Sue Hoskins Charles Andrew Huff II Joshua Philip Hunter Macy Jade Huntoon
Elisa Janae Hurt. Trinity Reese Irwin. Daisy Ann Ivy. Lauren Thomas Jacobs. Clayton Stephen Jones. Destiny Michelle Jones. Jacob Alexander Mullane Jordan. Kylie Danielle Keith. Dale Lee King. Michael Rush Kinzer. Blake Thomas Keekler. Tyler Michael Lamb. Emma Lou Lambert. Ryan Scott Langan. Michael James Lee. Elizabeth Joan Leppert. Hope Marie Livecap. Nicholas David Logan. Devin Nicole London. Christopher Chavez Lopez. Madison Elizabeth Love. Megan Renee Lucas. Heather May Mack. Nathaniel David Maffitt. Robert Logan Marlowe. Kaylee June Matthewson. Meadow Ann McCain. Austin Taylor McClanahan. Zyler David McCullough. Brian Ernest McDonald. Jeremy Michael McFadden. Chelsea Marie McKay. Ashley Marie McKinney. Alexis Nicole McPherson. Gabriel Matthew Meadows. Emma Grace Myers. Nicholas Andrew Messer.
Casey Joe Meyer. Jordan Joanna Miller. Kira K. Miller. Cheyenne Faith Mills. Kaylee Marie Minnick. Cheyenne Darlene Mitchell. Noah Cyrus Mora. Sarah Marie Morgan. Dakota Samuel Mose. Corey Robert Mountjoy. Christopher John Monifo the third. Mackenzie Renee Murphy. Ty Matthew Murray. Micah Lee Jade Myers. Ian Blake Needham. Caitlin Marie Nichols. Evan Michael Nemo. Morgan Elise Owens. Austin John Paprocki. Jaden Marie Parrott. Seth Robert Pates. Maggie Ann Perry. Caleb Michael Perry Morris. Mackenzie Scout Philhauer. Jonathan L. Philpot. Bailey Scott Pickett. Amanda Lynn Pigman. Danielle Marie Pigman. Danielle Carol Ann Poitras. Kendall Ray Powers. Abraham Joseph Pruitt. Serena Danielle Pruitt. Mary Nicole Price. Randy Marie Pulliam. Jared Anthony Ray. Joel Anthony Reno. Manuel Jose Reyes.
Michael Andre Reyes. Jerica Marin Reynolds. Colton Isaiah Rich. Morgan Brooke Riddle. Kaylin Brianna Rourke. Sarah Kaylin Robbins. Amori Mikel Robertson. Caleb Gage Robinson. Danny Lynn Rupp. Abigail Rose Rush. Tyler Lee Sapp. Allison May Saunders. Lindsay Elizabeth Schmidt. Jacob William Seeley. Harley Marie Centers. Gabrielle Nicole Shea. Sarah Michelle Sipe. Sarah Renee Slate. Hunter J. Slusher. Abigail Rose Smith. Adam Jordan Smith. Bailey Marie Smith. Allison Nicole Sparks. Thomas Alexander Spencer. Benjamin Michael Steele. Braden Dean Stephan. Samuel William Stegman. Corey John Stone. Brody Corinne Sullivan. Vanessa Ann Taylor. Andrew Michael Thompson. Brianna Paige Tucker. Mahogany Shireen Tucker. Keyshawn Amir Tyson. Kyle Cole Vanderhorst. Joshua Lee Vaughn. Catherine Denise Voto.
Bree Alexis Wallace. Madison Paige Walter. Garrett Michael Ward. Grace Olivia Lucille Howard Warden. Sierra Marie Waters. Zoe Mildred Welch. Brecken Grace Wells. Dylan Curtis Wendell. Andon Kyle Wire. Nathan Lowell Wire. Sarah Lynn Witt. Caitlin Dawn Wilkinson. Isabel Hope Williams. Mackenzie Lynn Wilson. Mary Elizabeth Wilson. Mackenzie Lynn Wilson. Michael Anthony Wilson. Olivia Brooke Wilson. Dakota Austin Wright. Nicholas Anthony Yeary. Luke Timothy Ziner. Clayton Paul Zirkel. Our musical presentation this evening is The Lord Bless You and Keep You, written by Peter Lutkin and performed by the Goshen High School Choir and alumni under the leadership of Mrs. Jennifer Hansford.
like to also recognize Mr. Oshenschmidt and the concert band for their performance of Pomp and Circumstance for our ceremony. Both Mr. O and Mrs. Hansford worked very hard to direct musical performances under unusual circumstances. Thank you so much for your creativity and dedication. At this time, I would like to introduce senior class president Morgan Riddle. Morgan is the daughter of Jenna and Brent Riddle and will be attending Northern Kentucky University in the fall and majoring in education and psychology. Good evening, graduates, parents, family members, administrators, and teachers. Tonight, I would like to thank the following people for their unwavering support. The class of 2020 would be utterly lost without you. First, Ms. Cook, our amazing class sponsor. Thank you for everything you've done for our class. You faithfully supported us throughout these last four years. Because of you, we were able to accomplish our goals. We built four different floats filled with memories that will last us a lifetime. We planned and organized what was our last prom and grew as people. You never gave up on us and loved us with your whole heart. We are all so grateful for you. Second, I would like to thank the parents of the class of 2020. You have seen us through it all. As we entered high school as nervous little freshmen, you comforted us. You told us we would be okay, and we were. You have provided us your shoulders to cry on and an ear to listen. We are forever indebted to the love you have shown us. To my own parents, thank you. I cannot put into words how much you both mean to me. I love you both tremendously. Another shout out to my amazing siblings, Paige and Logan. I would be lost without you guys. I love you both. Next, I would like to thank our administrators. Ms. Walker, to be honest, we were wary of you in the beginning, but you were just what we needed. Thank you for all of the hard work, love, and dedication you have poured not only into us, but into our school. We will always take care of each other, just as you taught us. Ms. Meyer, you've been with us since we walked into Goshen High School on our first day of freshman year. Thank you for always pushing us to do better and to be better. To the Board of Education, thank you for all of the opportunities with which you have blessed our class. Thank you for truly caring about your students. We are truly appreciative of the support you have shown us. I would like to personally thank Mr. Daryl Edwards for faithfully attending every project lead meeting. Your presence did not go unnoticed. Even with your fully loaded schedule, you attended every meeting for the betterment of your school district. The Board of Education has taught the senior class how to warrior up. To our teachers, where to even begin? You have become so influential in our lives. You have done a great deal for us. Each day you went beyond teaching us. You desired to get to know your students and wanted to develop relationships. It is because of this attitude that you will be remembered forever by your students. Thank you for reminding us to turn our homework in or to get that project done. You never gave up on us even when we drove you crazy. We will never forget Ms. Gadio's lively personality, Mr. Ashley's shenanigans, Mr. Smallwood's fatherly advice, or Ms. Grimmett's classroom zoo. To my fellow classmates, we actually made it. We did it. To say the very least, this year did not end the way we wanted or expected. But it is because of this experience that we are better people. We learn to never take anything for granted. We have lived through a once in a lifetime experience that will never be forgotten. Although this year did not end typically, let's not forget all the memories we've gathered throughout our schooling. From Ms. Adkins laughing so hard she peed her pants, Ms. Taylor setting off the fire alarm from the haunted house, and Ms. Walker forgetting the pledge on her first day, we shared memorable times. As we enter into this next chapter of our lives, I am confident we will succeed. We are a resilient class. I am confident in my future because of who holds it. As Isaiah 41 10 states, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. As we conclude this evening's ceremonies, I invite the class of 2020 to move their tassels from the right to the left. I would like to present the graduated class of 2020. As you know, tradition is important at Goshen High School and tonight is no different. During previous graduation ceremonies, our staff lines the walkout to formally bid one last goodbye to the graduates in the traditional farewell walk. As our graduation ceremony concludes this evening, our staff members will formally bid one last goodbye to the class of 2020. Enjoy their words and congratulations. Thank you.
Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you how much of an honor and how much fun it's been being your class advisor over the past four years. Uh, we've had so many fun memories together from float building all the way to New York City. I will cherish those moments forever. I love you and I will miss you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. One of my favorite classes I've had in quite some time. And it's a shame that uh, we didn't get to spend fourth quarter together, but I'm very proud of all of you. This is Mr. Hill reminding you guys that when things seem dark, you can turn the light on. Felicitations and bon chance. Congratulations and good luck. Congratulations. I am so proud of you. Good luck. Congratulations, class of 2020. The best of luck to you. Congratulations, class of 2020. The best piece of advice I can give to you is to always work harder than the person standing next to you. Good luck. Congratulations, class of 2020. Live your life like a proton positive, even when surrounded by negatives. Once a warrior, always a warrior. Love you. I want to congratulate the class of 2020 and wish them all the best and to remind them to visit the library. Congratulations, seniors. I pray the Lord bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you in your new exciting adventures. Congratulations. Have a joyful life. Class of 2020, congratulations. I'm so proud of you guys. I love you all. You did it. Congratulations, 2020 Warriors. What a unique way to wrap up your school years. Do your best to be selfless. Every day, get out of bed, find some joy in the journey ahead. You are loved. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Today begins a new journey. Get out there and work hard, do your best, be kind, and enjoy the journey. We're proud of you. Congratulations. I'm so very proud of you. I wish you the best of luck in your future. Congratulations, Goshen High School Class of 2020. We are so proud of you. My advice to you is remember where you've come from because it'll help you get to where you're going. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We will miss you. Congratulations, seniors. Now get out there and do great things. Congratulations to one of the best groups of seniors I've ever worked with, certainly the bravest. I'm very proud of all of you. Just wanted to say congrats. We are very proud of you. We know you're going to do a lot of great things in the future, and uh, remember to always come back and visit us. Congratulations, class of 2020. Keep reaching for your goals and never forget who you are. I am so proud of you and wish you nothing but the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I am so sorry that we can't all be together and we can't give you hugs as teachers who adore you and wish you the best. So congratulations, students. You will be missed. Hi, seniors. It's Mrs. Mance. Just wanted to wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. And remember not to let this time define you. You all are strong and resilient. And remember your uh, above all else, warriors. Once a warrior, always a warrior, guys. Good luck. Bye. Good luck to the class of 2020 and to my special students, Ben and Frankie. I love you, and I hope you do well in life. Congratulations, class of 2020. Do great things, guys. Congratulations, class of 2020. You are my first group of students, and I couldn't be more proud of you. Hello, seniors. It's been great getting to know you over the past four years. I love you and I will miss you. Good luck in all you do. To the class of 2020, congratulations on all your accomplishments and good luck in your future endeavors. Warrior up. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you the best of luck. Once a warrior, always a warrior. Hi, class of 2020, Mrs. Royal here. I just wanted to say congratulations and to let you all know how impressed we are with how much you have persevered and held your head high during these difficult times. Way to warrior up. Class of 2020, congratulations. As you enter this next chapter of your life, be willing to accept new challenges, learn from your mistakes, and have the confidence to know you can make a difference. Congratulations, Class of 2020, good luck. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Best of luck to you as you pursue your careers. Congratulations, and best wishes and good luck for your next steps wherever they are gonna take you. Seniors, congratulations. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. 
Uh, it's been a pleasure getting to know you guys over the last few years. I wish you all the best and stay in touch. Well, congratulations, everyone. Now it's time to make money, make memories, and make a difference. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We're going to miss you. Go forth and do great things.